Well, it's without evidence. Um, I, I think it's the same right now. The only concern that I would have is it's coming from the inside. It's coming from an American rider. It's coming from a teammate. But it's coming from somebody that really doesn't have a lot of credibility right now. So I think if a formal investigation is launched, everybody should just hold their breath and wait and see what the results are. I wouldn't worry about it right now. I think it's a lot of drama. His brand is all about resiliency and the ability to come back and overcome adversity. I think this is just another obstacle that he has to deal with. I would, I really would take a deep breath if I was, you know, somebody that managing the relationship with, with him and his team, a sponsor, I wouldn't be concerned right now. I'd wait to see what happens. I'd wait to see if a formal investigation is launched, but I wouldn't react quickly, no knee-jerk reactions. I really would stay on the sidelines and support Lance during this time and, and not make any rash decisions. The, the issue here, the, the concern is, you know, this is a situation that is emanated from, from the inside, uh, from, from a fellow American writer. Not the many accusations that we've seen and heard from the past coming from many of the European cycling organizations that just are um, upset, in my opinion, uh, that, that Lance has been so dominant on the tour uh, for so many years. Uh, but we have to remember one thing, whereas Landis did fail a test, Armstrong has never failed a test. I mean, he is he's negative. He's never failed a test. And until he's failed a test, these accusations are going to just fall on deaf ears, in my opinion. My biggest concern about this whole situation is that Landis shows no remorse whatsoever for admitting that he doped. But at the same time, he also says that he came out because he wants to educate young athletes on the difference between what's right and wrong. But he feels no guilt whatsoever for what he did. He feels he did it because he had to do it in order to stay competitive for such a long time. There's enormous hypocrisy there. That's the biggest concern for me. It, you almost want to ask, who's advising him? Who's really managing him in this process and, and helping him really convey his opinions, right or wrong, about this situation? But it's such a hypocrisy to say one thing and then to say the other.